Go ahead and roll the chicken for the barbecue chicken pizza as well. Go ahead and get your Caesar dressing laid out on it. Give you a nice glob in the center and you'll work it around with a spoon. With the lettuce, you're just going to want to cut it into about one inch chunks. And then you'll break it up once you get it cut. The chicken should be done here in just a minute. These will actually, we're going to do them on, I think we're going to do one on a pizza stone on a primo and one on the stone on the fire magic. All right, so I'm going to stand that. I'm going to, I'm going to cook. It's going to be a little bit more of an Italian base. I, I consider it to be a fairly light uh, type of pizza. Put a little bit of olive oil on the pizza. Rub it in a little bit. Let's put a little bit of Parmesan here in the bottom. Okay, we've got some basil, just some fresh basil. Anybody here like tomatoes? This is called the Marguerite Marguerite Pizza. sauce. Real pizza. It's just instead of using a tomato sauce, we're going to use a barbecue sauce. for the dessert pizza. The crust is literally by a roll of sugar cookie dough. Oh, 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 oh. oh, just wait. I'm melting some butter right now. We're gonna use it to go ahead and put some apples that have cinnamon sugar on them for our dessert pizza in there when we get to that point. But we wanna make sure the apples get to soften up before we get started on that. So we're kinda multitasking right now. a crust for our dessert pizza out of sugar cookie. Um, I'm just going to spread it on some aluminum foil and put it right onto the grill grates. We're going to let it go for, you want to check it at about 8 minutes. Probably let it go for 10 just to make sure it's cooked all the way through before we start adding the toppings and pop it back on for 2 or 3 more minutes to let it finish. We just, we that was a nice sugar cookie. Day, you know, and you're back up to run it again without ever having in about five minutes, that's going to be good. You want to make sure that it is cooked all the way through because when you put it back on with the toppings, it's not going to be on there long enough to cook. Um, your sauce on this one is going to be caramel. Hope everyone likes caramel. I'm sorry, caramel. And it's really up to you how much you want to put on. We're going to be winging it with these, but, and like I said, I put these on in the beginning, just melted two sticks of butter, and I'm lazy, I didn't want to actually mix cinnamon and sugar, so McCormick makes these handy things that is actually a shaker of cinnamon and sugar, to make everybody's life a little bit easier. Um, I gave, doused the apples real good with those and just mix it in. Did you say two sticks of butter? Yes, but this is for two pizzas. If you're only making one pizza, you don't need that much butter. You don't have to eat it every day. Yeah. <laughs> And once you put it back in with your toppings on, you're not going to leave it in there very long. Just, I think just about everything we've done today has been right around 300. 
I removed all the calories by hand. No, 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 no. The, so. the fat's free. Yeah. The pizza crust is free. Everything. The free. apples are free. Yeah, it's not going to cost you a dime. Well, the butter is healthy. That's right. Alrighty, so the finished product actually is kind of a cute little pizza. My advice would be to not tell people what's in it. <laughs> and maybe advise them to go get a heart checkup afterwards. <laughs> Thanks for coming to the Southern Hearth and Patio channel. I'm glad you could make it to our grilling class. Come back and check us out again.